we're going to turn today's market find into a cool cucumber soup using these stunning summer squash with their beautiful scalloped edges. You can just as easily call this dish gazpacho, which is made famous by Spanish cuisine and perfect for a hot summer evening. We'll easily garnish with our fresh market finds, including dribbles of sheep or goat's milk yogurt, cucumber slices, fresh herbs like these basil microgreens, and diced pepper. I'll show you three easy ways to use this dish as a great summer meal option. One of our family favorites during August here in the very hot inland Pacific Northwest. As always, start with your trusted sharp chopping knife and a scraps bowl. Trim the ends off your cucumber and then slice lengthwise and again crosswise. Or honestly, any way you like it just as long as you have pieces small enough for an easy blend. I throw the skin, seeds, and all into the blender. Cucumbers have a mild, light flavor due to their high water content, and they're a great way to boost hydration in warm weather. Don't forget to set a little cucumber aside for garnish later. Next are zucchini, or any summer squash will do, all kinds are full of valuable nutrients. This mm, flying saucer shaped variety is called a patty pan. Beautiful scalloped edges and the skin is a tender source of fabulous fiber. Trim the end and chop into easy to blend pieces. Like all our recipes together, cooking can be our meditation time, placing attention on sensory experience sights, sounds, smells, and touch. Practice being present. Less lost in thought, less lost in screen time. These sweet mini peppers are so mild, I simply trim off the stem and chop into small pieces to throw into the mix, seeds and all. Peppers are incredibly rich in skin-supporting vitamin C. Onions are optional for a good gazpacho, and I love these spring green onions for their mild flavor, yet still a bit of kick with their pepper undertones. The white bulb at the bottom has the most onion-like flavor, although not as pungent as a standard white or yellow onion. The green part is much milder and easy to throw in the mix with everything else to blend together. Next, lemons for brightness and tang. We roll first to make juicing easier and to get the most yield. Then, an easy slice and half. Lemons are nutritious, including vitamin C, fiber, antioxidants, and minerals. Next, snap off a clove of garlic and peel. We clip off the end, then smash with the flat surface of your knife, being sure to keep your fingers safe, and the skin easily comes off. Garlic is a flavor powerhouse with nutritional punch. And our last few ingredients. Herbs like fresh basil. I just happen to find these adorable microgreens with no prep needed. Sheep or goat's milk yogurt, which has double the protein of cow's milk and can be easier to digest. And our trusted extra virgin olive oil, part of the heart healthy Mediterranean diet. There are a few ways to combine ingredients a food processor, a high-speed blender, or even a handy Nutribullet, which I'm using here. Because today, I wanted something easy to grab and clean and store. It means I'll blend in batches, but there's a simplicity around it too. Fill your bullet cup with approximately a third of each of your ingredients. Crisp cucumber, nutritious summer squash, sweet pepper for a hint of heat, mild sharp green onions, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice for zest. I love lemons in the summer, but you can just as easily add in some sherry vinegar. Then add in a third of your extra virgin olive oil for depth. Finally, a large pinch of salt. That's it, seven simple ingredients, whole foods, without additives or preservatives. To blend, simply screw on your lid, secure it nice and tight, 
and then place in your Nutribullet. Or if you're using a more traditional blender or food processor, same idea. And then press play. Honestly, how easy is this? A bright, wildly nutritious soup in seconds. This cool cucumber soup, or gazpacho, is an homage to warm weather, Mediterranean roots, and a creative spirit. In a minute, I'll show you three easy, different ways to use this dish as a perfect summer meal. After a few seconds of blending, I add in the remaining ingredients, a third of the more delicate herbs, and a third of our creamy sheep's yogurt full of natural probiotics. And then blend again. Oops, I forgot to add a bit of garlic to the first blending, so in it goes. It happens, and notice how you can absolutely not screw up this recipe. Okay, now our second and final blend. I love this Nutribullet. Known for making smoothies, it's also an easy option for grinding nuts or making soup and puree like this on the fly. Or I even use it when I've overcooked meat and I can turn it into a more digestible mince. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to pour our first batch into a large bowl before I move on to blending batches number two and three. Here again, I invite you to make this your meditation time. Take in the brilliant green color of this delicious soup that's packed full of nutrients. And it's almost embarrassing how easy this dish is. It's one of our family favorites all summer long. Stir to combine and then dish up. We start with fresh ingredients. No box, no bottle, no harm. You've heard me say it. Free of additives and preservatives. Cold soup with whatever you find fresh at the market. Be sure to hold back a small amount of each of the ingredients for garnish. A few dribbles of nutrient-rich sheep or goat's milk yogurt with probiotic properties. Cool, crisp cucumber slices by creating ribbons using a vegetable peeler. A sprinkling of your favorite herbs. And diced pepper for a touch of heat and color. Now, I promised you three easy ways to use this soup as a filling summer dish. Number one, straight up, as is, for a light meal on a hot evening. Or, if you're like me, you want a bit of protein to go with it. I have two creative go-to approaches. Warm some of my weekly meat braise with a quick saute. You can find the full recipe in the link below. I pile a 30 gram portion in the middle of the bowl. I explain why 30 grams in my eight power protein points. The video link is below. And then I surround the meat braise with nutrient packed cool soup. Finally, garnish as you like. A few ringlets of green onion, some red pepper for a little spice and color. My number two approach for adding protein to this gazpacho style summer soup is to use leftovers. For example, here I warm some of my delicious already cooked power plant and protein leftovers from the night before. A few carrots, some chicken, everything all into the bowl. I then pour in our nutrient rich dense cucumber soup and top with whatever inspires you. I look forward to hearing your favorite approach with this fabulous summer soup. Thank you for being here. Enjoy. <laughs>